Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the AWS Source Control Service, Code Commit. AWS Code Commit is a fully managed version control service for Git repositories, where you can securely store and manage assets, such as source code, libraries, and binary files in the cloud. Code Commit is fully managed by AWS. There is no hardware to manage or software to install. Code Commit is highly scalable, available and durable. There's no limit on the size of your repositories or file types you can store. Code Commit repositories automatically scale up to meet your development needs. Code Commit can easily handle repositories with large numbers of files or branches, large file sizes, and lengthy revision histories. Code Commit repositories are highly secure. Your source code are encrypted at rest and in transit. Code Commit enables the developers to collaborate on code. It supports pull requests, where users can review and comment on each other's code, before merging them to the main branch. It automatically sends notifications to users about pull requests and comments. Code Commit supports standard Git commands, as well as AWS CLI commands and APIs. You can use any Git tools you already know with Code Commit. Code Commit is integrated with many AWS and third-party services. For example, Code Commit is integrated with Code Build, which enables you to automate the build process. You can build CICD workflow using Code Commit and Code Pipeline. Code Guru uses machine intelligence to help you analyze your source code stored in Code Commit. You can connect the Code Commit with AWS Amplify to enable rapid mobile development and deployment. To work with Code Commit, you begin by creating an empty Code Commit repository. You can connect to the Code Commit repository by cloning the remote repository to your local computer. Other users in your team can also clone the repository locally and work on the same repository at the same time. Code Commit allows you to connect to the repositories using Git credentials or SSH keys. Once you have connected to the remote repository, you can start adding or changing contents, such as application code, documents, and binary files. You can commit your local changes anytime. Commits are local snapshots of changes made to your repository. When you are satisfied with the changes, you can push them to the remote repository. After the push, new contents will appear in your remote repository. Updates to existing contents will override existing contents. Every time you push changes to the remote repository, a new version is created. As a best practice, you should push small updates frequently, instead of making large updates less frequently. Other users can pull changes from the remote repository to their local repositories. When you fetch the latest changes remotely, new files and updates will appear in your local repository. You can create branches and maintain a different set of versions from the main branch. Branches are used to develop new features, store a specific version of your project from a particular commit. For example, you can create a dev branch for development and keep the main branch as a stable version for production so that developers can work on the dev branch without affecting the production code. When you are satisfied with the development on the local dev branch, you can push changes to the remote dev branch and merge them to the main branch. Alternatively, you can create pull requests instead of merging branches directly. Pull requests enable you and other users to review and comment on changes before merging them from one branch to another. You can approve or disapprove pull requests and create rules and specify particular users to make the approval. For example, suppose you have new developers working on the same repository. You might want experienced developers to review the code before merging unexpected changes to the main branch. Once you're satisfied with the changes, you can approve the pull request. Changes will be merged to the main branch after the approval. If multiple users are working simultaneously on the same file or the same piece of code, a merge conflict is likely to arise. You need to resolve merge conflicts before merging the pull requests. Code Commit lets you visualize conflicts and compare the differences between two commits. You can review conflicts and decide which version you would like to keep. There are many development styles for branching and merging. Gitflow and trunk-based workflows are the two most popular styles. Code Commit supports both Gitflow and trunk-based workflows. In a typical Gitflow model, the development team works on multiple branches. You might have a development branch, a test branch, and a main branch. The development team might create multiple feature branches from the dev branch. New features and bug fixes are pushed to the feature branch and then merged back to the dev branch. The new set of changes in the dev branch are regularly merged to the test branch for testing 
such as unit testing, integration testing, and load testing. All tests are run on the test branch. Changes that pass the tests are merged to the main branch and scheduled for release. As the development goes, more feature branches are created. The development team needs to maintain all these branches, such as reviewing changes and resolving conflicts. The operational tasks for maintaining these branches become very complex. A common issue with Git flow is that a feature branch that hasn't been merged to the development branch regularly can diverge from the development branch and become obsolete. So that when you try to merge it back, large merge conflicts may arise. Occasionally you might encounter some critical bugs that require quick fixes. The normal workflow would not be efficient enough as new changes need to go through a series of branches before the main branch. You often end up adding quick fixes to the main branch directly. This can potentially cause the main branch to become out of sync and results in complex merge conflicts when you try to merge changes from the test branch to the main branch. Git flow is suited for large teams that have developers with different levels of coding skills working on the same project such as mission critical software or open source projects. As you need strict access controls and code reviews to maintain high coding quality. Many development teams have adopted a more agile approach, the trunk-based workflow. In the trunk-based model, the development, testing, and releases are done on a single branch, the main branch. Everyone can make changes to the main branch directly. Occasionally, developers create short-lived feature branches for certain tasks. Once you're satisfied with these changes, you can merge them straight into the main branch. All tests are run against the main branch. Every time changes are merged into the main branch, automated testings are triggered. Code changes that pass all the tests are scheduled for releases. If any critical bugs are found in the release, you can fix them directly on the main branch without going through multiple branches. Trunk-based workflow is a much simpler model that has less access restriction and management overheads. You have only one branch to maintain, which means less chance of merge conflicts. Feature development and bug fixes are made directly on the main branch, which allows you to make releases more frequently. Trunk-based workflow is ideal for agile software development and teams that have adopted CI/CD pipelines, where code can be constantly tested. In this episode, we've learned the AWS Source Control Service Code Commit. Code Commit is a fully managed version control service for Git repositories. Code Commit repositories are highly scalable. available, durable and secure. Code Commit enables developers to collaborate on code, such as creating pull requests and code reviews. Code Commit supports standard git commands as well as AWS CLI commands and APIs. Code Commit works with different development styles, such as git flow and trunk-based workflows. Okay, that's all for AWS Code Commit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you liked the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.